Good afternoon, everybody. How you all doing? Well, I'm a bit off the uh, off the beaten track today. We're in uh, Martham. It's very, very windy again. Actually, it'd be a nice day for one of those yachts <laughs> on the broads. Yeah, this is Martham Broad. Not been down here for years, to be honest. The water level's very high. So yeah, it's very windy. Very, very windy. What's down here then? Let's have a look. Oh. So that's not best for this style of bike, but there you go. Oh yeah, this has changed up here a hell of a lot since the last time I was up here. Try and turn round here somehow. It's going to be a bit tricky to turn round here, but I'll have a go. Oh, I'm going to have to back up. Can't do it in a one -er. Another boat yard there. Martin Ferry Boatyard. That building wasn't there before. That's oh, so it's been a long while since I've been down here. Bit of fishing going on. the speed bump <laughs> it's all barriered off here by the look of it they want to keep people off the grass used to put used to come down here years ago with the old man he had a he had a yacht so he used to go out and freeze our knackers off on the yacht but it used to be out of park on here can't remember where it was I think it was kind of a little bit further, probably about here actually if I remember rightly Uh, I think you struggle to find a more in space up here now. But yeah, anyway, it's a lovely day. Lovely day again, other than the wind. Temperature's, temperature's still fairly warm. We had a lot of rain this morning. I was going to come out this morning, but lashed it down with rain. Size of that bloody hole there. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder where that goes. I don't think I'm going to attempt going up there. <coughs> so yeah, anyway, I was going to come out this morning just for a little ride. But yeah, it lasted down with rain, so wasn't going to bother at all coming out. But like I said, you've got to make the most of the opportunities of getting out at the moment. I don't think we're going to be able to do it for much longer, <laughs> unfortunately. What's he doing? Oh, he's getting out of the way. Hope he's got his dog on the lead. Yeah, he has. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you can hear me okay. to go out on a little rural ride, uh, ride out <laughs> some nice scenery <clears throat> it's up there some lovely properties So yeah, this is Martham. This isn't the centre of Martham. Martham's a little village. Yeah, some beautiful properties through here. Thatched roofs. I don't know what the lifespan is on a thatched roof nowadays, but I wouldn't want to pay for a new one. 
would you? Drop it down again. Handles absolutely lovely this thing. It's watching a review on the new I say new, it's been out a little while, but the CBR thousand or CBR thousand RR is it SP? Might be wrong but I think it yeah lovely looking bike absolute animal by the looks of things but from what I can make of it it doesn't seem to spring into life until the rev range gets a fair way up whereas this thing on the other hand this has got to get up and go literally as soon as you open that throttle and you have got different power modes as I've spoke about before in other videos and if you haven't seen the other videos feel free hit the subscribe button would be much appreciated so yeah it has got different power modes A, B and C I always leave it on A I'm a rebel <laughs> Yeah, this thing just literally launches. And I'm at the rev, I mean, the revs aren't even really up at, up there. I mean, once you get the revs, you've got to be a bit careful on this one. It's a bit bumpy, but you get the rev reins up, up on this thing. Let's just get past this bumpy section here. So this road is very, very bumpy. What's he doing there? Make sure he's not doing a U-turn in the road. All right. Oh, very, very lively. I'm only literally tickling the throttle there. I'm only just tickling it. And this is an absolute beast, this bike. I don't really ride it like nowhere near to its full potential. You can't do that. Do you know, even when I was on the track, I never felt like I was doing that. Oh, Jesus. Try and keep on the right side of the law. <laughs> but yeah, that. That is the thing, what I've heard about the, the CBR is not to say the, the bike is an absolute missile but you have to get the revs beyond 8000 for it to, to really launch in. A bit like the old two strokes used to be, a bit flat right down in the low rev range. And then they just become like a bloody absolute beast. That's what I like about this. It's very usable, rider, rider friendly. You can tone it down as well. You could notch up traction control right the way up. I'll be a bit careful here, there's lots of leaves on the road and like I say, it's been raining earlier. The roads are dried out a bit, but look at me coming out on the damp roads. <laughs> dried off now but still gotta be a bit careful in you oh shit on the middle in the middle of the corner there oh just squash my knackers <coughs> I'll tell you what does sound nice is that the um, RSV4, the factory, 1100 I think it is, 
That sounds absolutely beautiful. That's something else that. The thing is with sports bikes, you know, the one litre sports bikes and above, uh, it's, the, it's the cost just seems to be spiralling out of control now. It really does. Coming a bit unaf unaffordable for a lot of people, especially in these times. Anything above sort of, I don't know. You're talking like 15,000 plus for a bike, some of them even over 20. I'm not sure the exact figures of the CB, that new CBR, but I think for the SP, which is the top spec, the RRRRRRR SP, <laughs> I think that's about 20, I might be, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's about 23 grand. To me, it's just, it's more of a track focused bike as well, so 23 grand or, oh, so I think they're becoming a bit, what's the word for it? I think they're becoming a bit out of most people's price range, if they were ever in them in the first place, because they've always been bloody expensive. <clears throat> These roads are so unpredictable today. Well, they are every day, but you get a lot of farm machinery around here, tractors and combine harvesters. <laughs> oh. Leaving all that shit on the roads. Just have to bear that in mind when we come a cropper. <laughs> I've had this for a couple of years. <laughs> oh, get down to first. I think that's quite a first gear corner, that one. But. And it still seems very, very fast. You know? But then I don't always, you know, give it the beans. Brakes are good as well. Anti weedy just kicking in every now and then, keeping that front wheel under control. Oh, well, I'm going to turn round here, stretch the legs a bit. Look at that. Looks good in the sun. Still looks nice and clean. That's the thing, if you don't go out in the wet, they, don't, they, they require very, lot, you know, minimal cleaning. Just need to dust them off, literally. We'll get one of those microfibers. Give the screen a wipe and get rid of all the flies. That Yoshi sounds lovely. Not bad, I think you can pick them up for about... 600 now maybe, maybe a little bit more and uh, that's the carbon one that one, the R11 yeah, very easy to change <laughs> sounds nice and you get rid of that big dustbin as well the big uh, standard exhaust can you hear a lot of moaning about them well if you don't like them you should never let an exhaust can you know, put you off buying a bike Get rid of it, stick one of them on. Where you go. Right, here we go. I think I'd go as much to say as that I think. This route is probably my favourite route. Got some lovely 
twisties you get to know where they are as well I can't believe the temperature still it's a sign of day 15 degrees yeah 15 yeah temperature I'll tell you what as well that the size you know, you know on a motorbike when the weather's when it's turned sh shape because you do actually freeze your tits off it's where heated grips and stuff as well come in nice no, keep your hands warm they even do like heated seat you get heated seats and all sorts keep the core of your body nice and warm yeah I think it's equal a bit too tight to put heated grips on this and heated seats <laughs> mind you it's a sports bike I don't say <laughs> not there wax some sands camping touring <laughs> that will all be sharp now for the for the winter Blipper. Where's he going? You gotta watch him around here. <laughs> End up shooting across the road. Oh, it's got a waft of some nice food then. And that a cafe stroke restaurant there on the corner. It's not rather nice. Make me feel hungry. Got the sun in my face here. Oh, uh, you think you would have waited, wouldn't you? Ah, this is Horsey. When I come up to Horsey, you got the Horsey Mill there. What's just been refurbished? Let's have a look, shall we? Why not? <clears throat> Let's have a little look. What a busy little spot here. Yeah, this is hot. You know the water level is very high. Let's have a look. I ain't got my fishing rod so I can't do any fishing. Yeah, there's Horsey Mill there. It's just been refurbished. Nice little tea room there as well. Loads of little public footpaths along here. Yeah. So if you go go sort of down that way there, I don't know if you can get there by the the water's edge, but that'll take you to Martham where we're just we're just being. That's this is Horsey. So you got Horsey Mere just here which is lovely in the summer oh yeah nice right then oh got to watch I don't bugger down here that would be funny wouldn't it <laughs> end up on my scrawny arse <laughs> right oh my god go and turn round you ain't got a, much of a turning circle on these things. <coughs> right. <laughs> yeah, like I say, it's one of my sort of favourite little routes, this is. You've got a bit of everything. A few straight roads, although this is quite bumpy. You've got the twisties, and you can literally go all the way along that coast road. We're going the other way now, but if you carry on going the way we were, that'll take you all the way as far as bloody well, as far as you like, really. I'll take you all the way up the coast. Cromer, Wells, keep going. Up, yeah, right round the coast, up to Hun Hunstanton. Nice little ride out. Too late to do it today, though. We've got lots of time. We've got to keep an eye on the time, really. 
not that you can't ride these at night, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> but when, oh bloody, oh Christ. It's a smoke visor. Nice wearing a smoke visor because it does keep the sun, you know, the sun out your eyes. Oh, ease off a bit here. And this is Summerton. So you've got Summerton Broad. There. Another nice little village. It's full of nice little villages in around this area. Lots of wet patches on the road. And this, this is taking us to Winterton. Let's have a ride through Winterton. Actually, what we could do is go and have a look at the sea, see what the sea's looking like. The village of Winterton. village post office oh we've got an ambulance up there uh, I think I might turn around actually I don't really want to get caught up in whatever's going on up there I think here is probably a good place to do it. He says, <laughs> oh for God's sake, oh dear, oh yeah, try and turn this round. Oh, so when you're moving it back your feet slip on the mud. Yeah, you could end up dropping the bike. Oh, we've done it. <clears throat> it's not a lot of room to turn around up there, so... Okay. Take a left here. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. She didn't look very happy. <laughs> you got the highway man up there. The highway man is it? Oh, Hamana's. With the little um, round huts. Where's he going? Oh, it's there. Take a left here. Here we go. The bloody sun in my eyes. Hey! Back down to 30. Start here. Yeah. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching a little ride out. And, uh, like I say, take care if you're going to go out on your bike that time of year 
Much appreciate your view. It's yeah, much appreciated if you unsubscribe. Hit that subscribe button if you want to watch some more. It'd be much appreciated. Anyway, yeah, take care. Speak to you later.